Hi right, guys, welcome to the channel again. In this video we're going to be talking about whipping tabs, the leather tabs on, the top of your catapult there. Uh, the only video I've actually seen with it on is one from Romany Custom Catapults, Asa Wilson. I'll put a link in the description for uh, his channel. But yeah, it's the only video I saw, so I thought, you know, let's give it a go and uh, give my take on it. So what you're going to need is your catapult, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to use a off cut, so it's easy for me to manipulate and uh, show you what's what. A leather tab, super glue, sharp pair of scissors, and all importantly, your whipping twine. So this is Marlow number four black waxed whipping twine. eBay, Amazon, anywhere like that, you'll find this. So let's get started. Now, first things first, we're just going to put a dob of super glue on the back of the. Uh, tab because that will just help hold it in place whilst we're uh, working on it. So uh, just get a bit of super glue on there. And just put it on so we something like that. Let's, put, let's do that so we don't knock it over, be in trouble. Now uh, whilst we're waiting for that to set we'll just cut off our uh, length of twine. So from experience, I know we're going to want about three feet, so we'll just uh, pull that off. Good pair of scissors. So what we're going to get to start with, we're going to create a loop. So we're going to have a short end and then a very, very long piece. So something like that. Now, I always start with the loop at this end, at the bottom here, and then work my way back up. You can do it the other way. I can't say either way is better or worse, it's just the way I prefer to do it. So, loop at the bottom. Something like that. So we've got short piece sticking out the side, very long piece. So, I'm going to go over and round. Now, just give it a couple of turns and then just uh, straighten everything up. So. If you want to do it, might as well make a good job of it. So what I like to do, keep it taut whilst winding round. And then just keep work, working back and closing the gaps up. Uh, give it a good pull. You're not going to snap this uh, this twine. It's very no, high tensile property. So round, keeping it taut. Like I say, you can just keep pushing it together, make it nice and even. You don't want any gaps in the twine. Not that it really, really matters, but like I say, if we're doing it, let's make a job of it, aren't we? Keep going. It's amazing how quickly we use this twine up. Give it a good pull. It's keeping it taut, pulling it round. Keep it taut, pull it round. Good, good put up on it there. So there we go, you can see what we're doing. We're near the bottom now. This last couple can be a little bit awkward trying to keep it so it'll drop off the bottom of the leather, off the bottom of your uh, tab, but there we go. That's that, There's a little gap in it there. And the last one, there you see then that happens. That's how it's going to do, that's what it's going to do. So we'll make that one a last one, feeding it back, then through the hoop, or through your loop, should I say, sorry. I'll bring, try and bring it to the centre, uh, get that out of the way, and pull that up. But before we get too excited, we want to make sure that this one doesn't get caught under the tab. So. Something like that. If we just pull it up, and we're not going to pull it all the way through because it will unwind. So we want to pull it probably about halfway, or so it's under. So pull it through, pull it through. There we go. I'm happy that that's in about the middle there, roughly. I'm going to cut any excess off with a good pair of scissors. And there we are. Jobs are good. Now what you can do, is like I have done on this one, just give it a lick of uh, super glue 
over the twine that will stop it moving about you know, when you're holding the cat here and whatnot it'll stop it coming off so but that now if you were to do another fork absolutely ready to go that is not going anywhere you can pull it about as much as you want so i think what we ought to do just to give you a show is we'll take this one that i did earlier outside have a couple of shots and we'll see what's what cheers